Well, greetings, everyone. If this is working out, we should be going live. If it isn't working out, it's just one more of the events at the Heirloom Art Studio where we're having some technical difficulties. Um, first thing we noticed, if you happen to catch our uh, little quick tour through the studio and the gallery, um, going live on Facebook is backwards. Everything is backwards. So it took a day or two to figure out how exactly we're supposed to fix that. Let's see if we can do it. Should take two steps. We click on a tool and it doesn't work. Hmm, something happened. Where did it go? There it is. Okay, there's a tool and we reverse. Hey, how about that? Move the camera a little. Whoops, go backwards. Everything is backwards, remember? All right, we're going to move this over that way. Everything is backwards. Okay, so do I look any different backwards? So I'm sorry you're going to say absolutely not. But how many of you have heard the expression, make sure you get my good side? It's true. We all have a good side and a bad side. So when I was backwards, I really didn't look like me. So now I look like me. So let's talk about that. There we go. Okay, how many of you in this cute, nice little snapshot, wasn't a profession, it was professionally done, a uh, little snapshot of our daughter's wedding back in September, and a very happy event, everybody got done up well. And, um, lost my train of thought. <laughs> going live is not easy because you know exactly what you're going to say. And then all of a sudden you forget where you're going with the thought. Okay. How many of you did the old high school art project where you took a photograph of yourself and, or a, a magazine picture? Remember those old Breck shampoo uh, drawings of those gorgeous women? Um, whatever happened to Breck shampoo and like it disappeared but you took a magazine picture or a picture of yourself and you cut it in half glued down one side threw out the other side or gave it to your partner and your assignment was to draw the exact duplicate of the other side of the face now the only problem with that is our faces are not identical on either side now as a matter of fact, the first time I figured that out was in high school when my assignment was to sit in front of a mirror and draw my own portrait. And my eyes are not identical. I don't know if you can tell. This one hangs down and tends to cover the eye. It's narrower and the, the lid hangs down and therefore there's no crease across it. But when I had to draw it from a mirror, it was backwards. So when I finished the portrait, it just never looked like me. But I didn't understand in high school why that was the case. So let's take a look at, at this little picture. And like I said, it's just, it, it was professionally done, but it's a snapshot, pretty little picture. Now, it is slightly turned sideways. So we're gonna see some distortion here, but you're really gonna get the idea that we do have a good side and a bad side. So pretty little portrait. Let's cut it in half and let's put two left sides together and see what we've got of me. Look like me? No, it doesn't look like me because the left side of my face is clearly different than the right side of my face does not look like me. My husband just loves the hair. Thinks that's pretty cool. Greg's my worst critic. My best critic, actually. He's my best critic because he looks at my artwork and says, I don't think that's right. And I usually know it's right, but to have him confirm it is very gratifying and very wonderful because it's very nice to have a partner who can take a look at your work and assist you with what you're doing. Okay, so... Left side, not too bad, 
but it's definitely not me. Left side of my face does not match my right side. So now we're going to learn that two wrongs definitely don't make a right. Two right side, isn't it wild? Two rights do not make me. We have a good side, we have a bad side, we have a flattering side. Hiring a professional photographer, their job is to know your good side from your bad side and to be able to light according to what works, what doesn't work. All right? So that you don't end up looking this goofy or this goofy, whichever the case may be. Now, that's your great lesson today. The additional lesson is, if you are computer savvy, and if you are retouching, and if you are grabbing those old photographs, and half a face is missing, or an eye is missing, technically, you cannot cut and paste or clone one side of the face and drop it on the other side of the face. It technically, it's not accurate. You need to be able to go in and draw and reconstruct that face according to the bone structure that's already in left in that photograph, assuming they have some of that left. Now, you want to do it? That's great. If you don't want to take that challenge on, just remember, that's one of the things I do professionally, heirloomartstudio.com, and call me and I'll help you out. But for now, Let's just find out if we are live, if we're going live, and remember, I'm hoping you're having a great day, and if you're not, I hope it doesn't look like this. Bye. I'm still looking for the finish button. It keeps moving. Every time we do something, it, it's in a different place. Okay, I think this will do it. This is a learning curve. If you think this is easy, try it.